Welcome to another wonderful episode of Planet Centauri with your host, Mr. Joker. That is me. We are on version 0.7.7, and like I said in the last episode, we're going to be covering all of the bosses in the game. Uh, the first one we covered was the Necromancer, who again uh, was the, lo the second lowest on health and, uh, and the amount of uh, XP. Um, he is the second lowest for, for that. Uh, when I say XP, excuse me, when I say XP, I mean the, uh, spirits up here, the four or souls, as I've been corrected to say, four, uh, 43,112 is how much I've got right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go and show you the next boss, which is a little bit of a ways away. Uh, this next boss is the leaf fury. I, I say Fury because it's spelled F-E-A-R-Y. Uh, the Leaf Fury is also a level 50. And they drop uh, some pretty amazing things, actually. Uh, they can drop the Leaf Armor, which I'll show you uh, right now. Uh, well, let me kill this dude. Come here. Uh, so the Leaf Armor looks like this. It's Druidic Armor. Um, and it's random. You can't upgrade it. I do have some... Oh, did, am I using... Oh, I think I'm using the best ones. No, these are the best ones. Right? No, those ones are. They uh, they change. So, as you can tell here, these... Uh, oh, those are Dark Greaves. My bad. The Druidic Greaves uh, are a mixture of both HP and SP. And they have... Uh, as you can tell here, the level 6 Druidic Greaves, which are the boots... Uh, 80, 40, 80, 20. Um, the basic ones are 80 and 40. And uh, this one actually has one slot for a rune. This one has zero, which is unfortunate. So let's keep going. It's starting to get dark. Now, the Leaf Fury is going to be located in the... En I think it's the Enchanted Forest or just Forest. Um, usually, for me, it's past a desert. And it's typically, again, for me... To the right. This guy is a little tricky. He uh, tends to fly a lot. And if you are... Well, he flies the whole time. Um, and the higher you go when you're fighting him, the higher he'll show up. So I don't think having the uh, extreme jumping ability like this is going to be useful. Uh, let's see. I've never remember exactly where he's at. You'll notice that he is uh, someone you can kill when the uh, or sorry. You'll know where to find him when you uh, when you're starting to kill these guys. It's a rare garden, and uh, their spirits go towards a location like this. Now, this guy is located directly underneath. Not directly. I don't know exactly, like, how far. Oh, for real, bro? How'd you get down here? I didn't think that hole was big enough for you. Um, so, let's look at the mini-map again here. Let's actually make the mini-map a lot bigger. So, the Enchanted Forest starts here. So, it looks like it is directly in the center. Because beyond these trees is the uh, the raptor area, okay? Uh, that is the ancient forest, I guess you would call it. So right directly smack dab in the middle is where uh, the boss is. And below, below him, and a little to the right, because it's really awkward, um, is where the, uh, the T-Rex boss is. He's in this giant cavern business here. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that yet. We're only going to focus on the the fairy, the leaf fairy, and uh, to be able to get into the portal, it costs two thousand. It costs two thousand to unlock this. Now you can keep killing things, and it'll go right here if you're within range of it. The spirits will go right here and keep on adding to it to lower the cost. So it does cost two thousand to unlock. The other unfortunate thing is once we go through. It also costs another 2000 to unlock it on the other side. So, before we continue forward, I want to uh, let you guys know that the health 
of the Leaf Fury is 4,500 health points. The Necromancer was 1,500, 1,500. So this is 3,000 more points than than the this Necromancer. It's a pretty big jump. Uh, the Leaf Fury drops the third uh, on a scale. It's the third lowest, uh, so it's the fourth highest, and it drops 7,250 spirits now or souls. The problem here is that the door costs 2,000. Because of that, you're only getting 5,250, which is why killing the Necromancer is better than killing the Leaf Fury. Necromancer has 1,500 points, and so it's faster to kill him. It's hard because of his, you know, his incredibly strong um, uh, bomb that purple bomb that takes out half your life or your whole life but he drops a pure 5,500 no doors to unlock so there's that to keep in mind let's go forward uh, what I meant to do the guy is pretty easy to avoid when it comes to, to his abilities it's not super difficult I mean as you can tell I'm just dodging they've got a they're all it's uh, all light based magic I'm waiting for him to he'll do a spin and then he keeps shooting that now as we continue to do damage to him he'll do other things I'm taking off my Icarus necklace so that I don't keep jumping up really high uh, I there we go like I said it's pretty easy to avoid him and it's all I use melee um, you can use uh, kind of any magic. Let's see uh, what the fire does real quick. I'm not worried about health because, well, kind of strong. So, you know, there's that. All right, so fire's okay, but meh. Oh, here we go. That's what I wanted to show you. That's the best opportunity. These two opportunities here. Is the best now you can use uh, your different skills that you've see that and there's always one that stays behind a little bit longer and it's a lot easier to kill him yet yeah. I'm not using anything here I'm really taking my time with this how did I get so high on that that was weird there we go the Whirlwind does a good amount of uh, damage, but you really have to get that perfect. Ugh, missed it. Because it does cost SP, and he starts attacking faster the more damage you do to him. Dang it. And I haven't figured out if... Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. I want to get a full hit on him. With my um, move. Ooh, yeah, that was actually really good. It takes about 45 off of them, it seems like. Uh oh, about to die. Definitely have uh, health potions. The magic is pretty, pretty brutal. Even with all the armor, I'm taking substantial damage. But with the right amount of health potions, you should be okay. It, I know I'm making it look really easy. It's not. <laughs> uh, especially if you have lower grade armor. Um, I don't really have any special tricks for this guy to defeat him. Uh, he really isn't. He really isn't easy to to kill. Um, what am I doing? He drops runes and, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I like, I just suddenly was like, ah, oh, I'm over it. This guy is not easy to kill. He's just kind of a pain in the butt because he's constantly popping up and popping down and he shoots the, the light everywhere. Um, they haven't introduced dark magic yet. I feel that dark magic is going to be the best way to kill him, which I'm nearly sure that the onyx is going to be. You'll, what you'll need to use that or maybe poison 
but using light beams or thunder doesn't work on them. The ice is all on ground, so it doesn't really help. I think there's one maybe that goes, I don't, fire is okay, but your best attacks on this guy is going to be melee, unfortunately. And like I said, this cost 2,000. You saw all the spirits, they floated right past, right? Because they were going here to unlock it first. We've got four, uh, we'll go four, 44,393. We're at 5,600. And that's because of the remainder after the door is taken away. So we got, we got a small chunk, which is nice. But for the pain that it does to kill him, it's not worth it. You can't break anything in there either. And if I go through here again, it puts me right back in front of him. So I can kill him multiple times. It's totally fine. And once you're here, you just go back and forth. But definitely stock up on health potions. As for health potions, like I said before, the lower ones are probably going to be your best bet. Uh, if you don't have... Uh, this is the other thing I should have mentioned. I have life regen on my armor as well as wait doing that the stamina regen okay and it's really high level which makes a lot of these potions meaningless to me these regen potions and I've got a lot of them I can't use them because I'm already at level six life regen the next level beyond that is level seven and this uh where is it this one is already a level six they don't make level seven regen potions uh, so I would recommend having a regen potion, using it, and then going in. The higher, the better. At least one, maybe two would be needed uh, if one runs out, but you just want to keep an eye on your health for sure. Another great way to keep, uh, keep it up is using some of the food. If you can build some of these farms, you can build some great stuff. Um, what was something that I used to eat a lot was... I want to say it was these... Uh, these ones but i think it was the bowl of curry rice was the easiest and it had life regen and stamina regen level two which wasn't bad uh, i was the easiest and uh fastest way to get anything created and made um since we defeated the leaf fury let's go ahead and go to the dragon because the dragon is probably one of the in my opinion one of the easiest to kill so I'm going to go ahead and warp and show you. Where did I do it? Oh, I put it back already. So let's go ahead and use this crystal to warp back. And I've got a very, very fast way of getting down there. I've created a whole system down here for myself to be able to get places fast. And once, once you feel comfortable enough where you know where things are on the map, I recommend doing this because it will make your life so much easier traveling. I just press down and I can war I can just travel all the way down. And then we'll run over here. Actually, I'm going to save the dragon for another day. I want to show you something else that I've come up with. Something that will help your pets. Uh, I recently had someone talk about their pets and how they were leveling them using the chicken. Which is a great starter way. But, you want to watch some serious carnage? Look at this guy. He's level 54, my rare raptor. You get a rare raptor, I guarantee. I, I'm, I'm nearly positive. Watch this, watch this. So this dude down. Oh, he's going this way. All right. One hit. One hit. Oh, he's going. Yep, he's going. There he goes. Yep. Ain't nothing. Let's go this way, bud. This guy is a beast. And look at drops i don't know what that was but he killed it what are you doing dude he kills everything the hands uh the arms and stuff what are you doing let's go this way ow boom dead i can't i can't even keep up with him i can barely keep up with him let's go this way you want to go this way so badly here there's a dude kill that guy look at that see how much i'm just and i can just let him run he kills everything i've seen him take out legendary stuff Legendary stuff, no problems at all. One hits, one hit. The great, the greatest thing about this is that occasionally he'll leave. If I'm running and I get attacked, I can see his. He's here. He comes. Boom, dead. Ain't got time for that. Don't hurt. Don't hurt my master. 
He just like goes for it, man. He's a he's he's a loyal loyal pet. And you can get a ton of fire orbs to unlock everything else. Now, the easiest way to do this is to because I don't know about you, but I tend to have a ton of lava brick, which I can't use at all. I think that's what it's called. Uh, let me see. This is hell rock. I have a ton of ton of hell rock. If you build a line straight across, I'm not even kidding. If you build this line, look at this. Whew. This, this is this is it right here. I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. Um, I've done. I I just went all the way to one far end. That's that's all I did. I went from one side all the way to the other. So watch. If I just keep going, he'll eventually show up. That guy's trying to attack. Watch. My raptor will be here in a matter of seconds. I hear him. You hear that? That's the screaming of anger. Boom. And then I can just keep going. And he'll just, he'll he'll eventually follow, you know. If I get attacked, he'll show up. You just got to be quick enough to avoid everything. Oh, there's, there's something. Let's kill this guy. There's that guy. There's that guy. Yeah, you want to, you want to get this dude? He kills everything. I also discovered that, and this is, I just discovered this. Look at that. Weapons and runes and orbs and stuff. Yeah. See this? See this heal? If I could get him to respond. Watch this. He's hurting. Boom, 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 boom. I can heal him. Dude, that was a, that was a legendary guy he just killed. Pretty sure that was a legendary guy. One hit. This guy's a monster. An absolute monster. Isn't that great? It's the easiest way to farm everything you need. Boom. And he levels. He's taking a lot of damage, though. Let's fix that. Fix him up real quick. Oh, my gosh. I am so happy about that. The heal is so critical. And I could just run back and I'll find, like, look. He killed somebody there. So all this extra that we find, we can use on another, like, I can grab a different one. And he's killing things, right? But if I want to level up, say, my uh, lava golem, I can pop him out, and he'll gather it all up for me. And because it's a straight line, I don't need to worry about him breaking anything, you know? Look at all this stuff over here. Oh, yeah, get away from that thing. I don't, I don't. Let's see how our raptor does against that thing. That thing is uh, is bad, okay? They only come in pink. This one is some higher level. So, um, what do you got, dude? It won't it won't activate until I come by it. There it goes. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, he almost killed it. These things are wicked strong. Look at that. Oh crap. They're super strong. It's an unknown. Whew. He does. He did 300, 200 damage, 200 something damage. He's very strong. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that guy. That's how you do that. We'll go over the dragon on the next episode. I want to try to keep them each separate. So this is the best way, in my opinion, to farm and every item you need. Not every item, but strong items. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, let's pull out. My rare disciple is still an absolute beast. He usually, he'll take a couple hits to kill things, but he's still really strong, and he typically tries to stay with me too. So if I just keep walking, he'll kill things. Oh, jeez. Yep. Dude. Guys, look at that. Look at all the runes I'm getting. How awesome is that? And I can heal him real quick too. Oh, that's me. Oh, not, not, yeah, there you go. Okay, well, good enough. I'm, I'm just, I'm so stoked about this. You can literally, as long as you've got, um, you know, something to fix your mana, you can, you can heal and stay down here for days, man. Look at that. That's so great. Here's all the effects my rare disciple has. And I can get all this great stuff. Ah, all right. Now these guys... He actually can take them out 
pretty quick. He still uh, gets some su substanti substantial damage. Uh, fun fact, level 53 rare disciple and level, well, he was when he was level 49, he killed the chicken on his own. The chicken boss on his own. The rare raptor, yeah. <laughs> everything, everything is nothing. Like, he destroys everything. And look how much experience it takes for him to level up now. 103,452 experience points to, to level him. It is an insane amount. Uh, this guy's at 17,000, but he's got over he's got over 1 million experience points. He's got 1.5 million 1.5 million experience points. Isn't that ridiculous? Now, I've been trying to level up the T-Rex. He's not that strong even still. And I know he's level 20, but his health 252 at level 20 uh, I don't know about that. I think the rare raptor is going to be better than him. I mean, it's already got a, a, a stat bonus, an attack base. It's got uh, HP and attack base. I, I just, as much as I love my T-Rex, he's just, he's not, he's not that great, man. He's not that, he's not that great. Um, so I, in the last, so the last thing I want to mention here before I go is that I mentioned about doing a giveaway. I have, like I said, I've got a lot of items here to give away. And I'm going to, on the last episode of this, when I'd like to hit 2,000 for the giveaway, but on the last episode of this series, not the whole series, but on my covering all the different bosses, I'm going to put up a little quiz uh, in the video. Okay, somewhere in the video, I'll ask different questions. And... Uh, there's a few requirements to be able to enter into this this little contest. Uh, one, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter or on Discord. Uh, two, uh, you I want to see your answers to the questions. Now I'm going to say random things during each of these episodes, different things that happened. So you either have to watch the whole thing through, or um, I mean, I guess you could try to skim, but you might miss it. Um, so I'll give you the first one for free. This guy here, his name is Frank. This is Frank the Disciple. I think I had another guy named Frank. I don't remember what his name was. But this is Frank. Frank is uh, is a strong fighter type disciple. And um, he loves uh, long walks along the lava lake. And he likes uh, to iron his robe whenever he has the time. He wanted to be a uh, actor at one point. But it just, didn't, uh, it just didn't work out for him. So he decided to go the route of becoming a, a cult fanatic until I freed him and now he follows me as um, as his senpai trying to teach him the ways of of survival and uh, he's happy he's a happy guy all right well that's gonna be it for me today I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I hope it was informative if there are things that you know are a faster way to kill the leaf fairy let me know down in the comments below I would love to find out any information you guys have about that the next one we'll cover is the dragon it is it is a great, it's going to be a good episode because I know I have fought the dragon countless times. So there's a lot of information and a really awesome way to fight him that I have discovered that I'm excited to share with you. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. That was a horrible ending. That was bad. Uh, I love your faces. Stay groovy. I'm out! I'm out!